Hello, Chris Rhodes, a neuropsychologist here at uh, Memory and Brain Wellness at the University of Washington and Harborview, and pleased to offer another in our series of mindfulness meditations in partnership with the Fry Art Museum. Uh, also pleased that we have been able to maintain our in-person meditations on the first Wednesday of the month at 12.30. Uh, it's been lovely to see uh, more and more people showing up to that. Um, and at the same time, we remain in a pandemic, and it is also nice to be able to offer a virtual option as well, uh, particularly if uh, getting to the fry is not an option for you. So for this, and following the one from uh, earlier this month in April, I thought we could do a briefer uh, version of uh, cultivating some awareness around stress and stress response. Uh, it remains a very stressful time um, in personal lives as well as the world at large. And uh, becoming aware of when we are stressed and how we react to stress is so very important as we don't always have choices around the stressors in our lives, but we do have some choices around the stories we tell ourselves about those stresses or our relationship to them uh, or what we do with that. So for this, I will invite you to get comfortable. And as always, um, uh, either closing your eyes or allowing them to rest on an area without too much visual input Ideally, for this practice, your eyes would be closed if you are in a place where it is safe to do so. And beginning to bring some attention to your posture. So you are sitting upright, or you could be lying down, but your spine is straight. Your feet are firmly planted on the floor. Your hands resting comfortably in your lap. Your head resting on your spine in a neutral position. Beginning to bring your attention into this moment, noticing air entering and leaving the body, co-occurring with the sensation of your feet on the floor, your weight supported in space. Just noticing for a few moments you may also become aware of other sounds or sensations, thoughts, internal experiences. Just noticing the body as it is in this moment with no need to change it or alter it or evaluate it, just noticing. And as you do that, Bringing to mind some aspect of your life or your experience, circumstances that are a stressor for you. Realizing that this may be uncomfortable, and we often attempt to push these things away or not make contact with them. But taking a few moments to fully bring this to mind. 
something that you find stressful. It could be a relationship, some part of your daily life, a health condition, finances, global event, whatever you experience as stressful. Spending a few moments thinking about this. And noticing what you experience in the body. There may be a tightness in the stomach or the throat. Tightness around the jaw or the eyebrows, the forehead. Or a more general feeling of agitation or distress, whatever it is. Just noticing it for a second. Making note of how the body responds to a stressor. You may also notice a story that you tell yourself about that stressor or your relationship to it. But mostly focusing on your physical response. And now choosing to allow the thought of that stressor to pass, letting go of it, almost like a cloud passing overhead, or a river moving, taking one or two deep cleansing breaths. Relaxing the abdomen fully. And focusing only on the sensation of air entering and leaving the body. Slowing your breathing down. Your mind may return to the stressor that you conjured up. It may drift elsewhere. It's perfectly fine. Often the natural activity of the mind. Just gently redirecting back to your breathing. Slow, relaxed inhales and exhales. You may notice differences in the body between when you were thinking of a stressor versus now. Just noticing that, if present, before gently redirecting back to your breath.
if the mind is particularly active, instead of wrestling with it or forcing it to attend to the breath, you may offer yourself some well wishes and cultivate self-compassion. May I be well, free from suffering. May I be truly well and free from suffering. Still aware of your breathing. Nothing else to do in this moment other than breathing in and out, attending only to that. And as this practice begins to draw to a close, perhaps aware of the body's response to stress, even if only imagined versus occurring in the moment. And perhaps aware of the body's ability to relax into that moment, despite stresses, either real or only imagined. Allowing your eyes to open. And as always, taking with you my gratitude for getting to practice this with you today in whatever moment you may be experiencing it, taking good care. Thank you.